Now we are going to start with the second mode of transfer of heat that is convection. Firstly we have discussed about conduction that can takes place only in solids but now we will see about the convection. So what do you mean by convection? Convection is also a part of transfer of heat only means in convection also there is a transfer of heat from hotter end to the colder end of a liquid. In this case we are using the liquid as in conduction we are using solid but in convection we are using the liquid only but with actual movement of particles. As you see that in the conduction there is no actual movement of particles just particles are transferring the energy from one particle to another and heat can transfer from hotter body to the colder body but it is not like this case of convection actually what is happening in the case of convection see carefully how the convection takes place in liquid for example here we are having a beaker and in the beaker we filled it with a liquid okay so in a liquid as we know particles are like this means particles are away from each other so when these particles which are very near to the flame that particles will take the heat from the flame while taking the heat from the flame the particles will become hot and particles start moving upside when the particles will start moving upside they will send these colder particles downside when the colder particles come near the flame that colder particles will also become hotter now and while taking the heat that hotter particles also move upside like this way all hotter particles will move up colder particles will move down and one kind of convection current sets up in the liquid due to this convection current full amount of liquid is going to heat and up okay so this is a process how the particles will move itself from one place to the another place and transfer the heat energy hotter end to the colder end okay so now see the definition carefully convection is the process of transfer of heat from hotter end to the colder end of a liquid but with actual movement of the particles of liquid next we are having applications related to convection so where we are going to see this kind of convection in our daily life first application we are having moderate temperature in the coastal areas so what do you know what do you mean by coastal areas coastal area means those areas where land is very near to the sea okay you can say goa you can say mumbai that goa or mumbai or that coastal areas are very moderate temperature moderate temperature means in that areas not too much hot is there or not too much cold is there in between temperature is there always why moderate temperature is there in the coastal areas it is all because of convection see carefully how so during day time what is there during day time sun is there in the atmosphere okay so that sun is giving the radiations to each and every object so this sunlight is moving to each and every object na when the sunlight moves toward the land whatsoever particles are present on the land while taking the heat from sun these particles will become lighter while taking heat na each and every particle will become lighter and they it start moving upside so while taking the heat of while taking the heat of sun the land particles will also start moving upside okay and these lighter particles or these hotter particles will move from higher temperature to lower temperature and where is the lower temperature lower temperature is toward the sea so these hotter particles will send these cooler particles toward the land so when these cooler particles will go toward the land again from the sunlight these colder particle will become hot again it will move up again it will go toward sea again it will send the sea particles toward the land like this way convection current sets up in the coastal area so whenever there is a convection current set up in that way each and every time there is a moderate temperature because cool breeze is always moving around this okay so due to cool breeze there is a moderate temperature in the coastal areas and this process in which during day the sun is giving the heat to the land particles and land particles while taking the heat by taking the heat from the sun moves upside and move toward the sea and it will send the cold particle from sea toward the land this process is known as sea breeze clear during daytime sea breeze is there and same reciprocal we are having for night also actually in the night no sun is there in the night moon is there so whenever during the day whatsoever hot particles will move toward the sea till the night time whatsoever particles are there present inside the sea now that particles will become very hot now sea is warmer now land is cooler because why land is cooler because till night whatsoever hotter particles are there that gets up and move toward the sea what is happening in the night see carefully so warmer particles from the sea warmer particles being lighter will move up and it will move and go towards the lower temperature from higher temperature particles move till towards the lower temperature and in the lower temperature land land particles will then again move to the sea particles like this also there is a it forms a convection current 
so means here we can see that warmer air from the sea will move towards the colder air of the air of the land then these warmer air will push the colder air from the land to move towards sea and like this convection current setups and like this way moderate temperature is there at the night also during day also moderate temperature is there similarly during night also moderate temperature is there and during night whatsoever there is a movement of particles or convection current setup that is known as land breeze during day it is known as sea breeze and during night is known as land breeze next application of convection we are having ventilation in the houses in each and every houses might be you have seen that some exhaust fan are there or some windows are there why we are just using the exhaust fan or windows in order to move or in order to send whatsoever air particles or whatsoever carbon dioxide is present in our house we want to make it go outside and we want the fresh air from the outside to come inside that is why we are just giving the windows or we are giving the exhaust fan to the houses okay so houses are always provided with ventilation so this ventilation process is also based on principle of convection current how it based on principle of convection current see carefully for example this is your school okay and so many students are sitting in the school so students are taking oxygen from the out from the atmosphere and giving out carbon dioxide to the atmosphere so many students are giving carbon dioxide to the atmosphere okay so too much carbon dioxide is now in the school and if there is no ventilation system then because of carbon dioxide we will we will feel suffocation na? that is why we are using some kind of ventilation because carbon dioxide being lighter will move away from the school and whatsoever fresh air is there from the ventilation that fresh air will come inside the school that is why we are using the ventilation process in the houses as well as in any buildings okay so in a similar manner of ventilation we are having the third application of convection that is use of chimneys actually in a big factories smoke and hot gases are lighter because they are lighter they will rise up one path should be there na from where they, the smoke particles will move up and that path is the chimneys from the chimneys it is moving upside and escape out from the factories next application related to convection we are having air conditioner and air coolers are always fitted at higher position acs whatever whatsoever we are using in our houses that acs are always fitted at some higher position why because whenever they are giving the cold breeze downside so what this cold breeze is doing this cold breeze is pushing the hotter particles from the room towards upside and that hotter particles will move toward the ac then again this hotter particle by taking the cool from the ac it will become cool and then it will move downside again hotter particles will move upside like this convection current setup so like this convection current it ensures the more effective cooling in the room very quickly next application of convection we are having room heaters are placed at or near the floors means or on the floor we are placing the room heaters or we are placing very near to the floor why because whenever whatsoever air particles are present in this room that air particles when go towards the room heater due to the heat of room heater the particles will also get the heat and while taking the heat the particles will become lighter and when they become lighter they start moving upside and while they move upside they will send the cooler particles to go downside and when these cooler particles will come near the room heater then again this cooler particle will become hot and again it will move up like this way full room is going to become hot due to the room heater next application we are having the freezers of refrigerator are fitted at the top of the refrigerator why because when they are fitted at the top of the refrigerator it ensure the easy circulation of cold air downwards and hot air will move upside like this way convection current setup and the full refrigerator is become cold